did Lenin and the Bolsheviks transform Russia during the Russian Revolution in 1917? The Russian Revolution. We will analyze the destabilization of Europe in the collapse of the great empires, including the Romanovs and the Habsburg dynasties. In the 1700s, Tsar Peter the Great expanded and modernized Russia. Peter introduced into Russia Western-style navy, fashions, and city planning. But in the 1800s, Russia failed to keep pace with the rapid changes taking place in Western Europe. The Enlightenment led to new democratic reforms throughout Europe. In Russia, the Romanov Tsars continued to rule as absolute monarchs. Tsars like Alexander III used secret police to monitor citizens, censored the media, and sent political prisoners to labor camps in Siberia. Tsars organized pogroms, or violent attacks, against ethnic minorities like Jews and Poles in Russia. The Industrial Revolution made European militaries and economies the strongest in the world. Russian industry lagged behind Europe, had few railroads, and most citizens were poor farmers. Russia committed to industrialization, but it led to poor wages, long hours, and discontent among the Russian people. Russia used its industry, uh, built a respectable navy, but had problems mass producing weapons. In 1894, Tsar Nicholas II came to power but failed to address major problems from 1904 to 1917. When Russian liberals called for democratic reforms, Nicholas II ordered his secret police to persecute those calling for reform. In 1904, Russia and Japan went to war over Manchuria and Korea. Losing the Russo-Japanese War set a series of riots among commoners who were unhappy with Nicholas's government. In 1905, Russian commoners met outside the Tsar's Winter Palace to demand better working conditions, right to form unions, and a democratic constitution. The 
the protests became known as Bloody Sunday when the Tsar's guards fired into the crowd. Riots broke out across Russia. In 1905, Nicholas II agreed to new constitution that created a Duma, or parliament, and limited monarchy, but Nicholas ignored the Duma. The Tsar's unpopularity and failure of the government to respond to problems increased calls for socialism. Socialists' demands that the government control all means of production to create an equal society. Karl Marx developed a radical form of socialism called communism in which the working class led a revolution seized property, and shared all wealth without a government. Radical workers, peasants, and soldiers began to form councils called Soviets that held meetings and assumed control over local governments. In 1903, a radical socialist named Vladimir Lenin formed the Bolsheviks, a group that supported the revolutionary overthrow of the Russian government. Lenin fled Russia to avoid arrest by the Tsar's secret police and waited for an opportunity to return. Russia's involvement in World War I proved to be the fatal blow to Tsar Nicholas's support in Russia. Russian military was no match for the German army. Russia had difficulty producing weapons for soldiers on the front. Food shortages were common for troops and civilians. Lack of trains slowed supplies and communication. Russia drafted 15 million soldiers and nearly 7 million were killed or wounded. 1.5 million civilians died. Tsar Nicholas refused to pull Russia out of the war and went to the Eastern Front to personally take command of the army. Nicholas left his wife, Alexandra, in charge of the day-to-day -day operations of the Russian government. To help cure her hemophiliac son, Alexei, she relied on a mystic named Rasputin. Many people feared that Rasputin was controlling the royal family and murdered him. By early 1917, citizens were rioting across Russia, demanding an end to the monarchy 
and to World War I. In March, Tsar Nicholas II abdicated, or gave up the throne, and the Duma created a provisional, or temporary, government. Vladimir Lenin returned to Russia and led the Bolsheviks in the Russian Revolution in November 1917. Lenin's message of peace, land, and bread helped him gain popularity among the Russian people. Bolshevik Red Guards seized control of the provisional government and declared themselves the new government leaders of Russia. The Bolsheviks arrested and executed the Romanovs, which ended 300 years of rule by czars in Russia. After the success of the Bolshevik Revolution, Lenin announced major reforms for Russia. Lenin ordered all farmland to be distributed among the peasants. He gave control of the factories to the workers. Lenin signed a truce with Germany and gave up huge territories in order to get Russia out of the war. The Russian Revolution led to a civil war between the Bolshevik Red Army and the White Army, people who wanted a new czar, democracy, or their land back. Britain, France, and USA supported the White Army to get Russia back into World War I. After three years of fighting, the Red Army won, and Lenin became the unquestioned leader of Russia. In 1922, Lenin renamed Russia the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, the USSR. Lenin created the Communist Party, which ruled the Soviet Union as a dictatorship. Evolution of Communist Thought Closure activity. What was life like in Stalin's Soviet Union? Examine the front and back of the four placards and take notes in your chart. In 1917, Vladimir Lenin led the Bolsheviks in an overthrow of the Russian government.
Lenin transformed Russia into the Soviet Union, the world's first socialist government, and created the Communist Party to rule the nation. In 1922, Lenin suffered a stroke and died in 1924. Lenin's death led to a struggle for power in the USSR. By 1927, Joseph Stalin outmaneuvered his rivals and gained control of the Soviet Union. Stalin quickly created a totalitarian state in which he had total control of the government and of people's lives. Let's take a look at these placards and take notes on your chart. The Communist Party. Stalin was a totalitarian dictator who transformed the USSR into a police state. Stalin led the Great Purge to eliminate potential rivals in the Communist Party. He executed 8 to 13 million people from his own country. Stalin used propaganda and censorship to control information and began education reform programs to teach communist ideals and loyalty to Russian children. Stalin created a series of five-year plans to overhaul the Soviet economy. Stalin seized control of the economy and set high production quotas on steel, coal, oil, and electricity. Stalin's five-year plans dramatically improved Soviet industry and helped modernize the military. Stalin seized 25 million acres of private farms and combined them into large government-controlled collective farms. 90% of all peasants lived and worked on collective farms. Agricultural production improved in the USSR, but farming was inefficient and peasants resented having their land taken from them. Stalin declared men and women equal in the USSR. Women's rights increased as women could vote and join the Communist Party. Women were expected to work in factories and on collective farms, just like the men. Stalin attacked all religion and created a nation of atheists, meaning no emphasis on religion. Stalin ordered destruction to Orthodox churches and Jewish synagogues. <laughs>